Seven garbage clash clans attacks. Well, they're choosing nine Pekkas in the same spot. We're dropping 22 mini Hollands. We got some horrible attacks in this video. Coming attack number one. This man's gonna drop five dragons right next to the single inferno. And then five baby dragons on top of the single inferno. And of course, that makes absolutely no sense because baby dragons, when they're grouped up with other air troops, do way less damage. And uh, yeah, these dragons are just gonna go outside the base because the man did absolutely zero funneling. He started baby dragon, they're still too close to the air troops doing nothing. And then he's gonna drop a jump spell in the middle of the base. A jump spell next, what are these jump spells even for? He has an archer queen and all of his other troops are on air. So what is this jump spell for? It makes absolutely no sense. This dragon is not making it towards the base. This is the closest it's ever got to center base. Just getting pushed by an air sweeper. Finally goes down. Drops a lightning on the town hall. Drops a skeleton spell. Drops an earthquake on the town hall. And he's got some giants, which could have used those jump spells, but instead he's gonna drop two haste spells on top of these giants. I mean, this is some of the worst spell usage I've ever seen. Thankfully, never an overgrift to make it even worse. Coming attack number two, we got boss versus bubble S. And this man boss. Gonna bait out the CC. You know, good choice here. Drop a couple wall breakers, open up the wall, and then instead of dropping his queen, he's gonna drop his keen, which is kind of interesting when the CC's coming out, but it's all right. Drops a poison. The problem with this poison for me is if it was just the queen, it would've been fine, but with the keen being closer, that witch is not walking into that poison. Yes, it is hitting that lava hound, but that witch is still not in the poison. She's just, you know, still being able to spawn skeletons. And the lava hound comes over, and there's so much damage on that queen. He drops a blimp on the right side, blimps the town all, his queen actually goes down. He drops archers on the town hall, but these super archers are gonna die to the explosion of the town hall. There's a horrible blimp. And the CC killing the archer queen was crazy because it distracted him. That warden did so much damage to him. And this man decides he's gonna drop two yetis in the middle of the base. He's gonna drop 13 miners on this eagle, which is not a bad choice, I guess. I mean, you don't really want to drop in the center of the base. And then he drops his ward and has to use the ward ability. He's got the healing tome and then uh, eternal tome. But he's going to go down to that single inferno. On the left side, he does one of the worst mistakes you can make in the game, is dropping your champ on another hero. That is almost never the play, because champs champs are very bad against, you know, single infernos, heroes, and then like skeleton traps, right? That's where they just like go to die. So if you, they ever drop them on those things, that's an absolutely horrible choice. So you got a decent amount of hogs alive, but they get hit by a tornado trap, getting spun around, and uh, he just ends the attack early, which is pretty sad. We come to attack number three, we got Diggity versus PDR. Diggity's gonna drop on Mini Holland. You know, not the worst use of Mini Hollands, because that's, you know, he doesn't use 20 like we see later in the video. And uh, the problem is he has no wall breakers, so I don't really know how he thinks this queen is going to get to this town hall, because I do not believe it's it's impossible. She's not going to get to this town hall. He uses his queen ability. Doesn't really get much value out of it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the giant arrow. Uh, you can say it could work in certain army comps, but yeah, she goes down. And then he drops a warden. He drops a warden on the town hall. And why is the warden on air? Because at least the healers could heal if he's on ground. And they drops a keen. And of course the warden is a support troop. It's going to only a target other troops. You know, if a keen's going for storage, it's going to hit the storage, not the town hall. So it goes down. And then his CC, he's town hall 12. He doesn't have a siege machine, which makes absolutely no sense. You should be able to kick him up himself. But his CC was just loons. Now he's got more loons. Drops a rage. A clone. And then he drops another rage on these loons and they all go down to the town hall. I mean, he dropped like 25 loons on the town hall, they all go down. He's got like these throwers, I don't know what they're called. I'm just gonna call them goalkeepers. But yeah, these giant goalkeepers use all their abilities, but did basically nothing with them. King goes in the single inferno. Thankfully, the single inferno is on one of these giants. So the king's gonna be alive for a little longer, but he has the vamp stash and. Yeah, I mean, this is just taking too much damage at this point. He's got an E-Dragon and a Dragon for some strange reason. I mean, what an interesting army comp. One of the worst army comps I've seen in a, in a minute. And uh, yeah, the attack is already over. Coming attack number four, we got Moon. I'm just going Moon versus Keen K. And Moon, he drops his Keen, and this is why I'm not a huge fan of Amp Stash. So, like, he has the giant gauntlet. But look how slow this man is. I mean, the giant gauntlet might have not even be an ability at this point. I mean, he's doing nothing. He's like doing no damage. Where if he had the rage, which you shouldn't use that early, what is this man doing? He just shot a giant arrow. What do you take out? A gold mine and a farm, like a camp. What is this? An army camp? He took an army camp and a gold mine. And then on the top side, he's gonna drop his pekkas. This is absolutely insane. He has no poison for the CC. 
Covers a freeze on a ground expo when his queen's already dead makes absolutely no sense. And, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm not a big fan of the vamp stash. I just don't think it's too amazing. Like, yeah, your king lasts forever. But with a giant gauntlet rage combo, it goes to work. And of course, these P.E.K.K.A.s with no poison, two witches, they stood absolutely no chance. Drops like heal 20 seconds after they already die. And you know, he doesn't give up. He still drops his last barbarian. Sends them all in. Coming in attack number five, we got Janet slash J.Cat. And Janet has finally joined a new clan. You know, she was an active clan and they were just not putting her in wars. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of that clan. That leader is just not very nice to his clan members. But uh, she finally found a new clan. And I've uh, joined her to watch some more of her attacks, and she's back to her usual ways. You know, lighten out some expos, drop a champ straight on the, you know, just by itself. A legendary player, and she has the phoenix on the champ, the yak on the ward, and usually uses the ward building, instantly uses the queen ability. And the healers from the queen are actually going to the champ because the queen was taking no damage, uses the king ability to take out, you know, an army, army camp. And as her wardens on her air just following that queen around. The Queen's got the Spirit Fox, and I just love his his usage of the, or her usage of the, the pets, you know, I mean the Phoenix on the champ, which isn't the worst thing ever, but you know, I usually want that on the King, and then the Spirit Fox on the Queen, which could be a good strat, but then uh, the Yak on the on the Warden, that ain't never no good strat, I mean, now the, the Warden's getting taken out by the air defense, goes down, I guess now the Yak's on the Queen, which isn't the worst thing ever. And you know, so far into her attack, and now she's gonna drop her super dragons and her e dragons. And unfortunately, she's gone to the e dragon strat. And then she drops a fleener, but the fleener's instantly getting shot by an archer tower. Dragon comes over, just takes out that fleener, did absolutely nothing. Took out one archer tower when it can take out like 15 buildings. And yeah, this is a absolutely horrible attack. I mean, she's town all 16, this base is town all 12. I mean, it doesn't really look like it, you wouldn't even think it, but her troops are completely maxed. Her heroes aren't maxed, but. Yeah, not too great of an attack. Come on, attack number six, we got Shub Ham versus an Arabic fellow. And uh, Shub Ham's gonna bait out the CC, which is, you know, a good strat. Probably don't really, you know, don't really want to use a Valkyrie you could choose an archer or something, but it's all right. Drops her archer queen, or his archer queen. And uh, he's got, I don't know if he just got to, I don't know what town hall this is, but if he, I don't know if he just used a hero potion or just upgraded his town hall. I think he's town hall 13, but uh, yeah, it drops a poison on the super dragon, but the super dragon is going for his log launcher and it took him so long to drop his healers, but thankfully his queen's not gonna go down. If he, that super dragon was going for his queen, she would 100% die. But to let that super dragon just take out your log launcher is it's questionable. I don't know why he dropped the log launcher. It didn't really make too much sense. And he drops his keen. His keen's going outside the base, but then he just turns around. Just shocking when he's gonna go outside the base. Just turns around, comes straight inside the base. I mean. What is this man doing? Goes straight into a single inferno and dies. Freeze the single inferno way too late. Queen's getting targeted by so many troops. Goes down. And then this man drops a rage 15 seconds after the queen goes down. I mean, what are we doing, bro? What are these reaction times? I mean, what are we raging up the healers or heal up some archers? I mean, I know you don't want to do that. And then he drops an air warden when he just dropped 30 Valkyries on having to go center base. They all hit a tornado trap. What is up with these air wardens? I think I feel like... If you're Town Hall 13, you should at least know, hey, maybe my Warden should be on ground. He gets hit by a Black Air Mine. Like, that is what you get when you put your Warden on air. Gets hit by a Black Air Mine and just getting pushed by an Air Sweeper. Like, what are we doing, bro? That's crazy. I mean, it's not, that Rage is not even affecting most of these Valkyries because he's just being pushed away from the from them. It's just absolutely horrible. Thankfully, he takes out the Town Hall, goes down. I mean, that warden, it would still be alive today, but uh, this man just put him on air for some strange reason. And this champ's going into another hero, and of course, she's going to go down. Coming in attack number seven, we got Dublin 64. And yeah, Dublin 64, I'm a big fan of Dublin 64. He's been like three videos in a row or something like that, and I just love his strategy. I'm kind of hoping, waiting for these Hol mini Hollands to go away because he just loves them. I mean, he just drops 22 in the same spot. But what's amazing about him, he drops a stone slammer straight into single inferno and an air sweeper. I mean, it stands absolutely no chance. I mean, took out one building. Now it's already dead. He has nothing inside of it. Drops his ward on the left side. Instantly uses his ward ability. I mean, what are we doing? There's nobody in 20, 10 mile radius of that, you know, little circle there. And uh, yeah, I mean, the mini Holland's still got some kicks going, but uh, at this point, <laughs> there's no funneling going on. There's nothing to help him funnel. I mean, I don't know. I just. We might want to invest in some wall breakers, maybe some, you know, super wall breakers, something that's not a mini Holland, because uh, mini Hollands aren't going to be too good for funneling. 
And yeah, absolutely horrible attack. No funneling, but big fan of Dublin 64. He's kind of the GOAT.